Hello everyone, and thank you for attending Modular Mining's ProVision Guided Spotting webinar. I know your time is valuable, and we appreciate you taking the time to join us today here online to see what products and solutions Modular is bringing to the marketplace. The webinar itself will take about 30 minutes, and we'll have some question and answer towards the end of the presentation. My name is Braden Weisite. I'm the Global Manager for Machine Guidance here at Modular Mining, and I'll be leading you through the discussion today covering the ProVision Guided Spotting Solution. This is an interactive webinar, so if you do have questions as we go through the presentation, please feel free to enter those questions down in the lower left-hand side of your browser window. Our marketing team will be monitoring the communication as it comes in throughout the course of the webinar today. The webinar is being recorded, and we will be putting everybody on mute now, uh, everyone except for me as the presenter. So there shouldn't be inter any interruptions as we go through the course of the presentation today. If by chance you had a colleague or someone that you wanted to share the presentation with, don't worry because we're recording it today, and it will be posted on the Modular Mining website in the next few days for you to be able to share internally throughout your organization. Just a little bit about me uh, before we get started. Uh, I joined Modular Mining in 2018, and I've spent the last uh, two years traveling the world meeting customers like you and getting a better understanding of the challenges that you face today in the machine guidance environment. And I'm happy to be presenting today our guided spotting solution, spot on every truck, every load, every time, because it's one of the easiest and most uh, daunting challenges that we've noticed within the mining environment today, and we'll hit on a couple of those examples as we get through the course of the presentation. Just a quick legal notice, everything in the, the presentation that you'll be seeing today is copyrighted, so please do not share this without the permission of, of modular mining. So a little bit of background on modular mining ourselves. So we're happy to be turning 40 this year in 2019. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for more information, we launched a beautiful website uh, earlier this year. You're welcome, marketing department. Uh, so please feel free to check out the website and, and get some more background information. But we are turning 40 in 2019, which is an exciting achievement as a technology company in the mining industry. From a ProVision standpoint, we're operating in every mining environment around the world, and we've been doing that for over 20 plus years. So we're excited to be continuing that leadership in the high precision marketplace uh, as we move into the next generation around products and solutions like the guided spotting. So as we talk about the journey of machine guidance and where we've come from to where we're going, we really look at it in different level aspects from back in the 90s or even earlier where we were at with level zero and manual operation uh, throughout all environments of shovels, drills, dozers, and trucks to where we're at today with shovels and drills moving closer and closer towards that autonomous state <clears throat> and the trucks already in that autonomous environment. Now the natural progression of machine guidance for most of the OEMs and most of the industry itself has been to progress them slowly across each individual level and every time gaining more and more benefits from the technology for the operator to improve that scenario. Drills followed that path, shovels are following that path, dozers have followed that path. And we've seen those improvements come throughout the years. Trucks, however, took a different, took a different path towards that solution. We went from level zero directly to level four. Modular's parent company, Komatsu, is a leader in the autonomous environment. And <clears throat> we've taken a lot of what we've learned in partnership with them in providing a building block technology of guided spotting in stepping back to that level one and level two aspect. Because though <clears throat> the industry is moving towards an autonomous aspect in the mining market, 99% of the operations still find themselves in a fully manned environment, and some operations will exist to the end of life of mine, always with that manned environment uh, aspect as their uh, operating practice. So as we look at that journey, it's really modular mining, using the, the leverage of the challenges that we've addressed here from our autonomy and, and our experience in that market, and our machine guidance products and bringing that knowledge back to the level one and level two scenario. As we visit sites globally, we find a couple of different situations with the customers around the world. 
the first one being around large rope or hydraulic shovels, in which case there are a number of reasons why the shovel spot may be required. It could be that the truck operator is green or ha doesn't have the experience to back in. It could be that the site has actually mandated that this truck, that the shovel spot a bucket before the sh truck is allowed to reverse into position. It could be that nighttime weather or, or dust conditions just prevent the operator from feeling comfortable reversing into the position. All those conditions apply to a number of sites globally around the world. All of them are adding additional hang time to that shovel that is unproductive simply because the operator doesn't have a way to know where their final target location is before they start that reverse maneuver. Our second challenge that we run into in today's mining env environment falls into what I refer to as our cowboy operator. He's experienced and confident, however, he may not always put the truck where it's supposed to go. Best case scenario, he requires a respot, which today is very difficult to track from a mining operation as to how many times this is occurring. Worst case scenario, it's not just shovel hang time that we're worried about, it's that the operator actually makes physical contact with the shovel itself, thus downing the shovel and the truck, all because that once again the operator did not have visibility as to where their target location was prior to starting that reversing maneuver. Now each example really is focusing on just seconds within that shovel's operating aspect, and that's really what we're focusing on with ProVision's guided spotting solution. Every second counts. So as we look at that example and how big that actual problem is, let's take a basic story problem scenario. 15 seconds of hang time, which is a good example of what we just saw, but actually very generous and conservative in terms of what actually occurs in the real world today at, at most sites. But 15 seconds of hang time times roughly 13 loads an hour is three and a half minutes of lost productivity or capacity on that shovel while it's hanging, waiting for the truck to reverse into position. 3.25 minutes times 20 hours a day is 65 minutes of lost capacity per day times 365 days a year, and you can start to see where the journey's going. That's 395 hours of lost capacity per year. Multiply that by what the shovel's production rate should be or could be, or around 6,000 tons per hour, and we're north of 2.3 million tons of lost productivity capacity for that shovel solely because of our 15 seconds of hang time. So though it's <clears throat> a small number of seconds, it does factor into a large uh, opportunity for a site to start to address uh, with, with guided spotting and getting the shovel and the truck to better interact. But before we just come to site and say, this is the solution, this is what you should be using, every site is the same, modular mining <clears throat> over our 40 years fully understands that no two sites are alike not even within the same mining organization. So before we even come in and look at the, the challenges that you're facing from a truck and shovel spotting environment, we really want to use the data that we have access to with you as a partner to better understand what is your existing operation look like today and do you have the opportunity to utilize a product or a solution like guided spotting. So in this case, we're using the data to analyze the actual position of the shovel itself. So we're looking at the shovel's high precision location, and we're knowing when he's actually making those dumps into the truck that he's loading. Notice we have the truck arriving here on the other side of that active shovel. We see the truck get into position and then begin to wait. The shovel itself finishes loading his first truck and then swings to the opposite side to take his first bucket load, swinging out to then spot our waiting truck. How do we know the truck's waiting? Because we're able to see that GPS movement of the truck itself and the pause of the shovel while the truck's reversing into the maneuver. So as we look at that 15 seconds or in some cases 26 or 50 or longer, this is what guided spotting is intended to eliminate or reduce, is that shovel pause for the truck to reverse into that position, thus getting them into position faster in a safe manner. So how does the system work? <clears throat> we, Modular Mining, have chosen 
to go down the road of utilizing high precision GPS based navigation and placing that onto the truck itself. We do that because one, it's a building block technology towards future innovations that will evolve around the truck. And two, it's a product that we've supported in the mining industry, both from a provision standpoint and from our autonomous product line for a number of years in, in the marketplace, knowing that it can survive the mining environment. The system itself utilizes two intuitive, innovative LED displays. And though they may seem very basic and we'll walk through their functionality in the rest of the presentation, they're intended to provide the operator just enough feedback to be able to reverse into position, but not enough feedback to where it becomes a distraction for the operator and they're no longer situationally aware of what is going on around them. The goal for the system ultimately is to enable both new operators to feel comfortable and spot without uh, uh, hassle or uh, problems, but also to benchmark and allow the operation to set KPIs for existing and veteran operators to say this is what the target is and this is where the whole truck operation fleet is performing versus that target and continue to always seek and drive towards excellence around the truck shovel optimization. As we improve that interaction between the two units, ultimately the goal is to increase that shovel's productivity potential that we see on the site. So from an installation standpoint, on the truck itself, it receives a high precision GPS mast with two antenna and a dual uh, GPS receiver in order to allow us to always know the correct heading of the vehicle. And the operator also gets two LED light boards like we see here on the, the slide installed externally from the cab so not to be a distraction. From a truck operator standpoint, once guided spotting is installed, the truck operator never has to press a button. They never log into any system and they never have to interact with it. It's always feeding them the information so that they're aware of where they're at in relationship to that target location. From a shovel standpoint, it's an upgrade to our existing ProVision product. So depending on what model of, of shovel and what system you currently have installed, we would have to look at where that goes from an installation standpoint. From an operator aspect, I hinted on situational awareness, and this is a key driver as to why we, Modular Mining, designed guided spotting the way we did. The whole goal was to, to not become a distraction to the operator and to add more uh, displays or, or activity going on in the cab of the vehicle. So you'll notice that the LED light boards themselves are mounted externally in line of sight of the mirror, and that's done intentionally. The operator is able to always maintain situational awareness where they're looking at the mirror, able to see the shovel, able to see what's going on in front of them, and the display at the same time while they're doing that reverse maneuver, thus not becoming a distraction to the operator in the cab. Where does it all start? So from a loading aspect, the shovel operator has always been the conductor or the, or the leader of the loading uh, process. The shovel operator ultimately has to set a high precision loading location utilizing their onboard PTXC. That loading location can be set anywhere on the shovel's actual dig radius and allow the trucks to back into that position once it's locked in. Modular offers a number of different loading, oper or loading zone configurations for the shovel operator to choose, choose from, ultimately allowing them to best maximize uh, utilizing those spot locations in tight pit conditions or changing pit conditions as they move through the working face. Once a truck operator breaches a loading zone, that's when they start to receive guidance. And we're getting our first look at the actual LED board where it's big enough for you to visually see, but ultimately it is a very basic form of communication back to the operator. And it's done so because the operator is actually seeing three forms of feedback at the same time, but it does not require the mind to focus for more than one second on any one of those uh, communication aspects to be able to interpret what's being said. So we'll start here with the LED board focusing on kind of the differentiation between the areas and what's going on uh, for the display. So you'll notice the top left hand side is actually providing the truck operator a view of their heading and where the head nose of the truck is sitting in relationship to this target loading location. 
So it gives the operator in the reverse maneuver knowledge of whether or not they're coming in the, at the right angle or the right direction in order to maintain that center load capability. You'll also notice these red dots here. They symbolize where the truck's at from a bird's eye view standpoint in relationship to that target loading location. And also up here in the top right, we've got the meters to the actual loading zone itself. So from a truck operator standpoint, how far am I actually away from that baseline aspect of where my intended stopping point is? Now you'll notice a couple of things. As the truck starts to reverse in, it's more than just a physical change of how the, the display works. There's also some subtle color changes that allow the operator to understand out of the corner of their eye visually where they stand in relationship to that target location. So we went from red to the amber color as they're backing in. You can see the heading start to straighten up. The meters are counting down as the truck gets closer to position. And one of the biggest changes is here on the next slide. As the truck operator actually puts the truck onto that target line position, it goes from that light gray color to a bright white. And that snap of color in the corner of the operator's eye allows an experienced operator, once they're comfortable with the ProVision guided spotting solution, to not have to even be focusing on the display itself. They simply notice the fact that their amber dot turned into a green dot, and it's the snap of that gray to white that signifies that they're online. They straighten the wheel up, in which case they get the heading of being parallel to that target loading location. And now they're focused on getting the truck into the correct position from a uh, meters to that loading zone. One of the things we notice as we look at the high precision data of the deployed units is that typically when operators are spotting themselves without guidance, they fail to reverse all the way into where the shovel really intended for them to be. And that requires the shovel operator to extend or add additional swing, thus slowing down the shovel cycle itself and potentially getting a balanced load issue where it's either a front-loaded truck or a, a tail-loaded truck that can cause other problems as we look at the, the truck scenario. But ideally here, the truck operator is able to see how much further they have to go to be able to get into position. And then ultimately, once they're into the target location, the LED panel goes full green on both sides, indicating to the truck operator that they've achieved the target loading location prior to the shovel even needing to be there with the bucket to spot. So one of the things that's interesting about machine guidance is as we've released products throughout the number of years, it's really changed the operator practice of how they utilize the machine. So if, if you would think back to uh, drill technology before the first machine guidance systems were available to drill operators or shovel operators or dozer operators. Once you gave the operator themselves a visualization of what the target was, they then changed how they operated the machine in order to better meet that target quicker, faster, or at a lower cost. We're seeing the same thing start to occur with guided spotting because the truck operator for the first time has visibility as to where their ending location is versus where they're starting from. So typically on the existing uh, fleet without guided spotting, you'll see a truck operator enter a loading area and pull usually further than they would need to so that they can see the shovel in their mirrors in order to start that reverse maneuver. Utilizing Modular's maintenance management system, MindCare, we're able to see one of our highest truck events occur at this moment, which is a dry steering event where the operators now put the vehicle in reverse, but they're not moving. They're turning the wheel all the way over, which is damaging the vehicle itself. And then they're spending most of that reverse maneuver fighting to see in the mirrors and get the truck into the correct position. With guided spotting, we change the way the operator enters that loading zone because we're providing them guidance as they come into the area for the first time. So the operator enters and breaches that loading zone and they start to receive guidance on their panels today. And utilizing that bird's eye mentality, they're able to coast and pull onto the target line and then reverse directly back into position, thus eliminating the dry steer and fighting the mirrors to get back into that uh, correction. So from an, from an operator standpoint, this is just one of those building block areas of how a high precision stamp 
a product like guided spotting allows for an operator to move further within that manned operation and allow them to operate safer and more efficiently with the truck environment. <clears throat> so ta talking about the loading tool itself, guided spotting's most valuable aspect of what it allows the, the operation to do is to start to fully maximize the loading tool or the shovel uh, today and ensure that when possible, the shovel is able to set and hold two or a dual-sided loading scenario, thus maximizing its product productivity capability, being able to realize the, the full opportunity that the investment that was made in that uh, asset as the mine uh, moves across the mine plan. But doing that in a safe manner. So though we do have the ability to set two loading zones, we have built in a safety standpoint to not allow the shovel operator to set those loading zones where they would actually be overlapping to prevent the truck operator from being able to receive guidance where they're reversing into potentially another truck uh, by following the displays. So what does an improvement look like for you at your site? It's really going to depend on the site and the operation and the practices that you have in place today. But ultimately, as we've started to deploy guided spotting globally, we've seen a couple of the same things replicate at each of the properties that we've started to work at uh, today. So <clears throat> the first one being fully understanding, like we talked about with the data, exactly what are we trying to solve? How much hang time is there at, at that specific site? And what's the challenges that we are overcoming? In this example, we're looking at a couple of different things. The site mandated that the shovel bucket spot was required for certain operators, whether they were untrained or new or not been certified, or if certain conditions occurred, uh, which would require visibility aspects. When required to wait for the bucket to spot, we were adding around 26 seconds of hang time to that shovel for a 157 second shovel cycle time to load that, that truck. When we turn guidance on, we're able to take that situation and move those operators from 26 seconds down to a guided active area of around eight seconds. Now, ultimately the goal, yes, would be to put this at zero, but it's not a robotic system. The shovel operator still has to swing out and set a spot. Not every truck operator is perfect. So you're always going to have some hang time or, or wait time in there as trucks and shovels in a manned environment work together. But ultimately, the focus point here is that in the environment where we're looking at operators that were required or waiting for the bucket spot to occur, we were able to consistently get them into location uh, much faster, ultimately taking that shovel's average cycle time from 157 to 131, uh, realizing additional trucks per hour kicking out of that shovel as the course of the, the study went on. So a number of times I've referred to guided spotting as an enabling technology or a building block technology. And it is really that. So as we've installed machine guidance across a number of OEM uh, opportunities and within the, the product line standpoint, uh, they are building block aspects. The same goes with guided spotting and installing high precision onto a truck. As you put high precision onto the truck, it really becomes a base point or a jumping off point to enable things like geofencing and traffic contention management, more advanced road condition monitoring, and really starting to dive into additional driving behaviors that we can start to track at an operator uh, individual level, not just around the spotting, but how they're operating throughout the mine from an entirety. So in summary, the guided spotting system is ultimately leveraging a very tried and true solution that modular mining has brought to the table, and that's the high precision GPS technology. Uh, we've been supporting it and deploying it for over 20 years, and we're a leader or the leader in that product line today globally. Uh, <clears throat> as we move forward, ultimately the goal is to eliminate that shovel hang time and maximize productivity, combining provision and the high precision side with dispatch and the fleet management to, ultim to, uh, to achieve full productivity capability of that, that product line. Some of the benefits that we can focus on from the summary of around the presentation 
is the product was designed to increase and not detract from situational awareness. So from a truck operator standpoint, their focus is always up and out and, and uh, aware of what's going on around them. With the goal of decreasing that shovel's hang time and eliminating respotting if possible because we're getting them to the right spot the first time. With practice and with training, we allow the shovel operator to optimize that swing angle and utilize the load zones to set tighter, closer dig patterns as they work that face. Facilitating double-sided loading where it may have been restricted before. Uh, minimizing operational losses and ultimately increasing that productivity. As we look at additional opportunities going forward, we've got things like guided dumping or guided crushing, uh, advancing very quickly as into release. Uh, dozer spotting up at high dumps so that we're able to safely spot uh, the trucks as they're dumping at a, at a high dump location. Paddock dumping, pantograph guidance, and as we talked about, operator level awareness of where they're actually at or, or lane keeping technology. So, my contact information is here on the screen. Uh, feel free to reach out to me with, with any questions or concerns or, or comments on the presentation itself. So I appreciate the time and I really look forward to, to meeting or hearing from you in the future. And as we release commercially the guided spotting product, uh, I'm excited to see how it changes and impacts the trucks and the manned operations globally around the world as we move forward. Thank you, have a nice day.